Hi, welcome to this new video. If you have not subscribed yet, I invite you to do so. The subject of this video is the glyphs. The glyphs are written at the beginning of the staff and serve to locate the name of the notes and at the same time to indicate the place they occupy on the general scale, of which I will talk about in the next video. There are three types of clefs, the pa clef, the sol clef, and the do clef, and each one has its specific places on the staff. The pa clef can be located on the third or the fourth time. The do clef can be placed on the first, the second, the third, or the fourth time. And the sol clef can be placed on the first or the second line. The clef gives its name to the notes that are written on the same line as the clef. So if we have a pa clef on the third line and a semi breve on the third line, that semi breve is a fa. The same as if we had a fa clef on the fourth line and a semi breve on the fourth line, then that semi breve is a fa. And so with all the other clefs. Knowing the name of one note, it is easy to find out the name of the others, because as we saw in the previous video, the notes always go in the same order. So if the note placed on the second line is a sol, the one in the second space, which is the one that follows, is a la, and the one in the first space, which is the one that goes before, is a fa. And it is in this way that the name of any other note is found, as we can see in the following example. And now for the exercise of this video, on the staff sheet that we got in the first video, we are going to write and name the notes written on this staff. Feel free to pause this video for as long as you need to write the notes on the sheet. And in case you need to print the staff sheets, in the description of the video you will find a link to my Facebook page where I share the file for you to print. And well, that's all for this video. And again, if you have not subscribed yet, I invite you to do so. Until next time.